Hello, Landy Chef. Claudia Bazaar here, coming to you today to interview our newest Fast Track director, Teresa Douglas. Um, so I'm just waiting for her to come on live so I can ask her a couple of questions and, you know, have her share with you guys who she is, how much money she made as a first month as a Fast Track director, and, um, you know, what she did to get there so we can help all of you guys make more money as well. Is there anyone on that wants to make more money? We'll see. All right, so let's see if Teresa is going to come on. We had some technical difficulties the first time, so this is take two. Um, so let me know if you guys are here. Comment below. And if you're watching this in replay and you still have um, you know, some questions after we ask her, then um, just comment and we'll answer them for you. So let's see. Teresa. I don't know where she's at. <laughs> Let's see. Someone tag her. Maybe I can invite her. Hold on, let me look. No. I just invited her, so maybe... Oh, there you are! Bring Teresa on camera. Um, I give you our newest fast track director on the Landy Boss and on the Dolger Gem team, um, Teresa Douglas. Yay! And Teresa Hi. did it in um, less than 90 days. So she's a fast track director, meaning she also earned the $500 bonus. So new consultants, you want to listen to what this lady has to say. So um, Teresa, can you tell them a little bit about yourself? Who are you? Yeah, what do you do? For sure. I'm from Wisconsin. I have uh, a, a family here. I'm a church music ministry youth director. So I have a couple of little choirs at my church. I direct a small children's choir and then a middle high school choir. And um, I love both my jobs, that job and my, my work at the Pampered Chef. I have four kids, three sons that are in high school, middle school, and second grade. And then we have a little, little girl. She's about one. And uh, when I get some free time, I love to sew. I love to listen to podcasts. So that's just a little bit about me. So you are very busy, full-time working mom? I work part-time. I work part-time, part yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. So very busy life, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, we stay busy. <laughs> so can you tell these guys how much your first check as a director was and how many shows you did that month? Yeah, well, I'll say my very first check, my first month, which was February, was $851. I did two cooking shows and two virtual shows, and I was pretty excited about that. And so in March, I really, and I, I had recruited my first consultant um, my second day in business, and I'm um, pretty excited about $851 for a couple of shows. And so in March, I really, really kicked it in, and I worked my contact list pretty hard, and then that second check, which was my first director check, I made more than $2,000. And that was for, I kept track of it. I did five cooking shows and two virtual shows. So you and left I, your house five times and made yeah. 2000 bucks. Hello. Yes. And I think it's worth noting that my first five team members, three of them were family members. One was a friend and one was a guest that I met through a virtual party. So you know, don't underestimate that contact list to look there first when you're building a team. Yeah. So what do you think were some things that you did um, to help you promote? Um, for sure. I, I worked that contact list really consistently. 
Um, when I first set up shop, I made a list of, you know, everyone that I know, 40 names in 40 minutes, four minutes, that kind of a thing. And I really, I kept that list open on my screen. And every day, you know, I'd be lying in bed and I'd go, oh, this person and this person. And I would just keep adding and adding and adding names. And, you know, sometimes you add a name and you're like, you know, but I, like an old high school boyfriend or something like that, where you're like, but I'm not going to ask that person right now. But maybe later you'll feel differently or you'll run into them, you know, out at a townie bar some night and you'll, you know, you'll have a nice connection. And then a couple of days later you go, hey, you've been on my mind. You never know. So just put the names down on the list, even if you don't feel like asking them or have the courage in that moment. And so I built that list. And right now it's got more than 200 names on it. Um, new people that I meet at shows, they go on that list if I don't have a firm show date with them, but they've expressed some interest either in the business or hosting a show. Then they go on that list of kind of like my people that I'm still reaching out to. Once they've hosted a show, they're kind of in a different, in a different list. But um, I just really, really worked that list. And I asked myself, you know, how bad do I want it? And then I just, there were a couple of days there when I was contacting 15, 20 people a day um, and just continuing to reach out. I ask so many people if they want to host a show or if they're interested in the business that I kind of forget who I've all asked. So you don't even think about the rejection because you just forget. And then when, when they start coming back to you, it's a fun surprise. So you're just, you know, you just keep putting it out there. Yeah. Another thing good. that I did after I got my first paycheck, I made a video, a live video that I put on Facebook of just talking about my first paycheck. And that was uncomfortable, you know, to talk about money and to kind of admit to the world that I was really excited about $851. But I just really decided to really focus on what that could do for other people and what somebody else, I mean, for us, it meant I got a new minivan, you know, because I was going to, I knew that I was going to be able to consistently earn at least $600 a month. And that's what I wanted to commit to, to get my new van. <laughs> and um, that's what I shared in my video. And I kind of told them what I had done. And the very next day, my niece reached out to me and she was like, okay, we need to talk about this. This is some serious cash. So it worked, you know, and, and it, I was accurate in knowing that that would be something that people could connect with. So now you got to make a new video with $2,000. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What am I going to do yeah. that? You know, I, I always tell people you have to talk money. Like even if you made a hundred yeah. bucks and you did two virtual parties, you made a hundred dollars and you didn't even have to leave your house. So um, sometimes people don't think we get paid. They think we get paid in like products and discounts, but yeah. they don't realize that we actually make, um, you know, good money. So, and, so and even the people who, I was just going to say, even the people that aren't maybe necessarily interested in the business, but just my good friends who were supportive of my business after that, they looked at it in a new way. And, you know, and I think they looked at it with more sincerity and a little more respect, like, Oh, this is, this is, you know, she's making some serious income here. And they, um, were even more supportive, you know, and thinking of me for referrals and things like that too. So it did a lot. Good. I like that. So everybody should do one of those. Um, so during your journey to become a director, was there like a time or a couple of times where you were like, screw this, I'm quitting? No, it was too short to do that. Not, but I've done this business before and I have quit this business before. And I think, um, the, there is so much that has changed in our company with Facebook and being the things that made me uncomfortable before and I was younger, you know, and I would get scared going to host house and my kids and whatever leaving at night and stuff. But now with being able to do virtual parties and being able to get to know our hosts before you even get to their homes, because you can connect with them on Facebook and get to know their personality. You get to know the people that are going to show up there. So you're never, nothing is ever cold anymore. You know, it's a warm, introduction everywhere you go with Facebook. And I just think what's happening with our company right now is just, oh my gosh, the fresh ingredient recipes. There's just a lot of reasons to be really, really excited about things right now. Yeah, absolutely. So do you have any tips for anyone that um, is a new consultant and maybe isn't sure if they want to go after the fast track bonus or for anyone that's seasoned or anyone that wants to become a director and make more money? Any tips for them? I think it's all about consistency. You you know, you have to have a, a why that is so powerful that you just get up and go every day. And I'm a very self-motivated person. So as far as um, my mentorship with my director, Claire, goes, she's incredible. She knows that, that I don't need any 
motivating or pushing, but she's always letting me know. She's informing me and just keeping me in the know about like what's what's available to me, like what the bonuses. Because when you're new, it's hard to keep track of everything. When you have a mentor who just is letting you know, you know, you could earn this this month. And did you know, you know, there's a $500 bonus available to you. She had no reason to think that I was going to try to do that in my first, you know, 50 days or whatever. But it just became possible. Um, but the the why to me is a two part why. And it's half of it is like my own personal motivation as far as like getting up and working every day, you know, like the things that I want financially. The other part of it is my deep seated like belief in what I'm doing in my own little way that I'm making the world a better place by using my business. And I have a personal story that I share at all of my shows mm -hmm. about this wonderful night we had around the table as a family and how, you know, we, it's a long story. So, but you know, we're nourishing our bellies and we're really face to face with our kids, connecting with them. And my husband and I felt all the feels, we felt so amazing after that. And I realized that that only, only, only happens around the dinner table. It doesn't happen out at a restaurant. It doesn't happen in the car. It only happens at home around the table. And I think everyone knows the science behind it. They want that, but it's hard. And that's where we come in. You know, we can, give them recipe ideas and having the right tools for the job is fun and it's motivating to get in the kitchen and cook with your kids and all those lovely things that everybody wants in their mind, but it's hard to do. We can help. So you really can feel joyful about your business and feel like you are providing a service to people and you're doing good in the world in your own little way. So you never have to, and you can have confidence in your business because you're doing something that's meaningful. And that's a good switch that goes off, right? Because when you believe that you're doing something meaningful, and you're not just selling a spatula, people are also attracted to you because they know you're not just trying to sell them a product and make money. You're really trying to get them around the table and help them in more yeah. ways than just selling them a product. And I think yeah. that's big for even new consultants to figure out yeah. right away. So what are you most excited about with this promotion? The raise is really, really nice. The raise is really, really nice. It's significant on your first check when you notice that. Um, getting the new free products is awesome. I didn't even realize I was going to get that. I had already ordered myself the multi-pot with my free dollars that I ordered. So I got, you know, another one of those. I got to figure that out, what I'm going to do with that. Some little prize drawing or something for my customers. Anyway, or contest. Um, but the the $500 cash bonus was that was really nice. And then yesterday I had an extra little sale pop up on my monthly sales. And I was like, what, I, you know, who ordered? I, I thought I would have known. Well, it's the, how it comes through from the company. When somebody goes to pamperchef.com, they get referred out to directors, right? Directors yeah. and above. And I forgot about that. That's a, that's a nice perk. So there's, there's a lot of reasons you're already doing the sales. You may as well maximize your, your commission and your income and just. You can, right? Yeah. Don't leave the table guys. So, um, right. so one, one last question, why should people ask everyone? Cause I know sometimes people, you know, come on and they're new and they're like, Oh, I don't want to recruit. Right. That sounds scary. But why should people ask everyone? You, can never ever tell by looking at someone there's so many reasons why people do this business and when i came when i started at the end of january you know we didn't really it wasn't like a desperate financial need thing for us certainly i mean it was great and i i knew what i would do with an extra 500 dollars a month but it wasn't that wasn't my motivator and i think a lot of people get hung up on that you know financial motivator but there for me the bigger motivation was really wanting to have this side fun thing in my life that I was like, you know, reaching for like these fun games that we play every month to earn like the free products and things. I love that. And there's people out there that get excited about that kind of stuff. It's like your couponers and your bargain shoppers. And there's people who just really want to belong to some, some place, you know, they, even if they seem like a really social outgoing person with a lot of friends, they may still be wanting another form of connecting with people to be a part of a team. There's people who don't get recognition in their life. Maybe they've got a good job, but a crappy boss <laughs> or, yeah. um, you know, there's, there's so many different reasons why people would do this. So you just have to ask everybody. 
you just put take yourself out of the equation and you just like Claire does for me she doesn't ever I never feel like it's about her I never feel like she's pushing me to do things in my business she's just letting me know what's possible did you know you could get a $500 cash bonus um <laughs> hi Claire um so that's the same thing we do for our customers we're just letting them know what's possible yeah yeah I have awesome. a new team member Laura, who recruited um, her very first cooking show host, because she just let her know about the kit credit. And I had, I had learned from Anthony McLennan, he's a fun consultant in our local area. And he said that he just, when people get to the $300 show, when their show gets to 300, you say, Oh, my gosh, that's incredible. You just earned the kit credit. And then they go, well, well what's the kit credit? Oh, well, this is an option for you. And she did that and recruited her very first host. So, so that's a yeah. good tip. And ask everyone. And it's part of the hostess rewards. I always say you wouldn't close a party yeah. and not tell them they earned 90 bucks and free, right? So True. you got to tell them about it. the kid yeah. credit too. So um, thank you so much, Teresa. For Oh, did you want to add anything? Well, my the one last thing I'll say, and this is, you know, for my own personal day-to-day -day well-being, and I think it is really, really helpful to new consultants too, is this is a simple 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 business don't overcomplicate things we 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 book shows we share the opportunity and we serve and if you just keep doing those three things over and over and over it's an easy business it's simple just keep doing it those are some great closing words so if you guys have any other questions for teresa or any questions about being the next director um, on the Lady Bus or on the Dolger team or your director's team, um, comment below and we'll check in later and answer them. Thank you so much, Teresa, for hopping on with me. I can't wait to see what's next for you. Thanks, Claudia. Have a Bye, good day. Bye, guys.